Thank you so much, Howard. Well, ride the red line. Yeah, there's some serious changes you need to know about before you head to work tomorrow morning. No trains, that's right, none running between Fort Totten and Nomagayudet University. And that is where our Stephanie Ramirez is live for us tonight with all the details. Hey, Steph. Hey, Deborah. So this is what you'll find at Noma Gallaudet University. These changes actually went into effect yesterday, but today we still found plenty of people who did not know what was going on. So tonight I ride a free shuttle for you. Change things. They have to do things. They have to make the repairs. I'm not thrilled about it, but you know what? That's the way it goes. Just got to chill, right? Hopefully this next bit of info will help you do that. First, it's not hard to find the free shuttles. There's plenty of Metro employees and signs to help you. Once I got on, it took a little over seven minutes to get to the Brookland station. On the way, I talked to a mother named Jessica. My son made a school out of the metro station, so I'm going to have to get up like an extra 30 minutes just to commute. And then I will have to leave work 30 minutes early in the evening or I won't have to get a late daycare fee. So this is going to cost you money if you're late. Yes. From Brookland to the next stop, the Rhode Island station, it took about another nine minutes. Then from Rhode Island to Noma on the second street northeast side. Oh, hey, there you are. It took about another 15 minutes. In all, the trip was around 30 minutes on a shuttle from Fort Totten to Noma. This was also on a Sunday night when the streets are empty. This closure is expected to impact around 10,000 riders. We feel like there's always something going on with the rain. But there is understanding. The safety is important. So as long as they keep the safety going on, you know, that, that, that's what matters. We don't get it back today. That's what happens tomorrow. And Deborah, Metro is doing this to make repairs on some of their oldest outdoor stations. It's going to last for 45 days. So that was yesterday from July 21st to September 3rd. At Noma Gallaudet, Stephanie Ramirez, WUSA 9. Thanks so much, Steph, taking that ride for everyone back there at home watching. So 30 minutes without traffic, right? We're going to check in tomorrow morning, though, and see how the commute goes. DDOT has given Metro a dedicated bus lane, though, to help ease that commute. And, of course, you want to download the WUSA 9 app. You have to have that because you need the latest information to make sure you're not stuck in traffic or your morning commute isn't screwed up.